another exciting video uh, so today we will, we will solve this problem from the weekly contest 367 shortest and the lexicographically smallest beautiful string so i hope i hope that everyone has solved this problem because the constant is very small and if you solve the brute brute force it will definitely gonna work and if you solve if you haven't solved please go and try for a couple of minutes and after trying you can come here and you can watch this so in this video we will discuss the brute force approach and as well as the optimized solution first let's understand the problem uh, you are given a binary string s and a positive integer k a substring of s is beautiful if the number of ones in it exactly k is saying that suppose we have 10111 and k is equals to 2 k is equals to 3 he is saying that the string is beautiful if number of ones in the substring now this is beautiful and this is beautiful number of ones should be 3 and return the lexicographically smallest beautiful substring of s with length equal to length if s does not take beautiful string we need to return the empty string ok a string a is lexicographically larger than a given the lexicographical definition so he is saying that we need to return the shortest we need to return the shortest now if you see 1 1 0 and 0 1 1 these both are lengths 3 but if you see lexicographical we will compare from the first element 1 is less 1 is greater than 0 so this will be my lexicographically smallest smallest is such that we will compare every element suppose we have a a a b and we have a a a and we have d if you see these this this all are equal but here it is greater so this is my lexicographically smallest element so for he is given that definition so if you see if you see uh, he is saying that substring so what i will do i j i j in i j for every value we will calculate the substring because if you see he is showing 100 all right if you calculate the substrings it will take order of n cube because if you see here we will iterate from i equals 0 and we will start from j and for every i to j for every i to j we will calculate if s of k is equal to 1 we are incrementing c if c is equal to k if we have uh, length k then we are taking s dot substring with this we will get the substring j minus i plus 1 this is starting index and this is my length and answer equals to 0 or my size is less than answer size my size is less than then i will answer equals to s1 if the sizes are equal if the i should take the minimum because you want the lexicographical i think you understood this brute force or uh, let's see uh, how we can optimize this so how we can optimize it we can use sliding window sliding window and sliding window can be of two types fixed size and non-fixed size here it's non-fixed size with a given condition if it is non-fixed definitely will give a condition condition based on that condition we will shrink the window size or we will increase the window size so let's say this example let's see suppose we are starting from here we are at i and if you go if you go uh, at this position j at this position if you see my window size k is equals to 3 my condition will side so i will store this in our answer then i will increment this i then i will increment this i now my i will come here and my j will be at this same position here it is 1 so i will num decrease number of ones here my number of ones are 2 we will not check we will not check then uh, then I, I, I need to increment j j will come here then j will come here and this j will reach here if it is reached here reached here i is my is the start index and j is at my end index then we will carry yes, k is equals to 3 is satisfying my condition now i i is satisfied i can come here yes then also it is satisfying then i can come this side yes it is satisfying then if i is coming here s yes, this is also satisfying so my answer will be 11001 so this is 11011 so this will be my answer first first our answer was 100011 in this if you see the size is 6 but here we got size as 5 i think you understand this sliding window this is like a going towards the we will fix the index and we will go until my condition is satisfied if the condition is satisfied then we will increment our i i think you have understood this uh, let's understand the code so if you understand the logic you can try to code yourself uh, or else we will let's see like high level of the coding part so first we will increment into j 
we are taking i is equals to zero and j equals to zero as we started here i and j. We have directly moded it. I am sorry for that. Let's like we need to start from here. And s of j is equals to i. We are incrementing. And if c is equals to k, if the my condition is satisfying, I will increment my i. I will increment my. I. So here I will calculate the substring and same conditions which I have checked for brute force. If answer is zero or the size is less, we will keep answer and. We will we want the lexicographical minimum, so we will keep the lexicographical minimum. If while iterating here, if you see here, at this um, at this position, uh, let's I will draw zero zero zero, one one zero zero one. At this we have satisfied this condition. We have satisfied k is equals to three, but if you increment i, if you increment i, I can come here. Still it will satisfy the condition. That's why. That's why we are keeping i in the loop while i greater than i less than n. C is equal to k. C needs to be satisfied. Then we will every position we are incrementing the i. If s of i is equal to one, then we need to subtract. While we are going forward, if if it is one, then these are excluded. This is excluded. That's why we need to subtract it. We need to subtract it. Ah, uh, if you see the time complexity, it would be order of n plus n space constant phase. It will be order of one. I think you understand this solution. If you understand this, please do like and subscribe to my channel. Ah, uh, if you have any doubts, you can put in the comment section. I will try to help you out. So if you if you are writing contest regularly in the lead code, ah, uh, weekly or biweekly, I will post the solutions. So if you subscribe to my channel, then you will get the notification early. And thank you for watching.